Well, the conservatives are losing quite a lot of support and the socialists are gaining ground. Which I could see, you know, like I could take nationality and then ideology and I see, you know, well, the Turkish are voting, uh, you know, voting patterns for different ethnicities. That would be pretty cool. And you can do it also with, uh, you know, you could take like, say, religion and then ideology and you see it split on I uh, religion, what each religion's ideology is. Could be cool. A workforce, especially. Things they can add in the future. Well, now I can revoke the autonomy of... Um, revoke the autonomy of Samos. And I get uh, prestige for it. Oh my. They uh, don't like me, you know. Luckily, no one gives a shit about Samos. So time to take Samos. Oh, come on, they have a little fleet. I have a little bigger fleet, even though it's uh, pretty damaged. There we go, now we can come back to Istanbul. Speaking of public illumination, I just got the ability to build that, so before I do anything else, I probably should should start fixing that. Let's see, region map mode. Public illumination. Can I build some railroads here as well? Well, I can. Well, why don't I? Do just that. Is there any place here with railroad capability? No, not really. Yeah, there we go. This only problem is that there's so many regions, or yeah, so many regions in this territory that you have to uh, fix with it quite a lot. Now I am going down here, fixing these as well. I guess I should fix this when I take Samos, because then I can do it all in one fell sweep. And I don't think there can be any... No. Too mountainous. There we go. And way down here... It's more flat and you can fix it all as need be. I can't fix uh, railroads, why? Is it desert? Oh, the desert is doing stuff. Well, at least I have public illumination fixed for when I get industry. I guess the people here kind of want public illumination. I mean, if you could pick between pu uh, public illumination or not, what would you pick? Of course you would pick public illumination. Cyrenaica will get it, and Fasan, of course. And finally, Tripolitania. There we go, I think I fi fix it all. Cost me not much, really. And uh, I guess uh, beef up the, the army a bit. Samos is now mine. And now I can do public illumination railroad. Even though, I mean, railroad... I guess they could build a bridge. But would it be worth it? I don't think so. Militant socialist in Istanbul. Taking him out. Where was the last time? It was uh, Izmir, no? It was uh, Izmir, Baghdad. And Istanbul. So I guess it makes more sense for this army to stand in Istanbul and protect them. That definitely would make more sense. Oh my, when did Italy form? But hello Italy. Interesting to see you here. I wonder when you're gonna challenge Austria for the right to retake Ven Venice or Venetia. I have no ally and no one wants no one wants me. Everyone hates me. I'm all alone. The sick man of Europe. Not so sick anymore. Yeah, let's just get these technologies up to speed. 
and I should start doing some more preparations for the colonization of Africa, scramble for Africa. I could send this army down here to kind of be prepared for it. Whenever I need to take uh, Gilady. Yeah, I can walk down there. Take this army down there. Second army. 30,000 men. No biggie. It will do the trick. I don't really want this assimilation. I want this, uh, this freaking thing. Valley of the Kings. Of course I will get it. Because, uh, you know, I'm in, I own Egypt. More or less. Signed the Geneva Convention. Uh, sure, sure. Let's sign the Geneva Convention. Still not gonna do implement Islamic law. Seems like a terrible idea. And I still need to fix this thing, even though I'm unsure on how. I guess I should make the people angry so that the political parties are more likely to push for reforms. And that way, so give me angry people. Even though I don't know how to get... I guess I could make a lot of people unemployed and stuff. Could intentionally piss them off. Gilady, no one cares for you still. Established protectorate, no it's too dangerous, too much. I'm tricking the United Kingdom has every single area. Let's see where's the sphere of influence. Yeah. I hate the amount of power that the United Kingdom has. Mexico has almost all of America. Oh wait, I mean the United States has almost all of America. And Germany has Austria in this year. Ooh. Will we get to see... How does no one have Sweden and Norway? Or Denmark? All of Nordic, the Nordic countries are just open for, for, I guess, sphere of influencing. And the first factory has been built. Who built this? You silly, silly investors. Well, I guess I can start building, or building, promoting uh, some more capitalists for the future. They can do what they want. I will try to support them a bit. Just a bit. Just a smidge. Well, if Denmark goes bankrupt, I'm guessing... Maybe in Germany will... Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. I mean, it's pretty useless that... Oh, no. Porsche suddenly took the area. Anyway, it was pretty useless since, you know, that they give you... Oh no, this general has died, and I haven't really cared about my generals in... I don't know how long. I mean, it was at the start where you had some generals that were necessary and others were not. But since then, it's been uh, pretty unnecessary. Well, see, the people are getting angrier. Can we get cultural rights and uh, the right for meetings? All allowed rights. I want all allowed rights. I guess people are more... They care more about the suffrage movement than anything else. You know, I'm gonna suppress the suffrage movement to make it more angry. <laughs> what a terrible tactic. You know what, I want to push through the reforms and more people can vote. But to do that, I need to piss off the people that are campaigning. To get more votes so that people are get more scared of them. It just doesn't make too much sense. Analytic philosophy. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna get that as soon as I can. And a flu pandemic, I was uh, disease free for quite a while, so I guess I can't complain now. Free from uh, all season. 
Plus, I almost gained a million in population total through uh, conquest or otherwise. Oh no, there's a war. I mean, France is gonna lose that horribly. Especially since the United Kingdom is on uh, Germany's side. This is not even, this is barely fun to watch. This is silly. Just that's gonna lose uh, France quite a lot of prestige as well. You know, with the, with the growing unrest in my country, I should put all armies under hunt rebel flag. So they can do that on their own. Oh my, Austria. You are really trying to grow some balls. No, it's changed name. Lake Romanov. Damn it, the Russians got it. The second... I just sent it away. It was like way for two days. I guess it's... Sailed out of here and then, you know, got the other way and just died or whatever. Seriously, it took two days for it to get to get lost. It's uh, impressive for explorers. Guess I didn't have much need of them anyway. And now, you see, the literacy is uh, it's a beautiful thing. You so quickly you can turn it around from having nothing to having quite a bit. It's just that these factories that are trying to build won't really be that useful. Plus, I don't. I'm not allowed to build factories, otherwise, I would. I guess. I mean, the economy system, in all honesty, is kind of borked in a way, since uh, a lot of factories aren't really profitable, and every single liquor factory is the most profitable thing to ever have ever existed. And while it's effective to build a bunch of liquor factories and stuff like that, liquor distilleries, it just doesn't feel right. Well, I found the source of the Nile. How is that possible? Someone else already did that. But I guess I... Uh, I mean, I guess I found it separately. I wasn't the first one to find it. I just was... Uh, just found it. The Russians beat us to the punch. I guess I, I hope I will find uh, the tomb of Tutankhamun. That would be pretty cool. Has it been become uh, less expensive? No, it has not. But I guess I can take it. I don't really need a lot of infamy. Plus, it will, infamy will increase consciousness a bit. And consciousness will drive uh, Congo. Execute Sailor. Hmm. Well, I guess I will try to to do this to uh, Kaledi. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Research points. Now I have a lot of research points, so I can uh, get further up to speed. Get some earlier railroads going. Troy. I discovered Troy. I mean, it's close to home and everything. Comfortable to find. Somewhere around here, somewhere, I guess, Troy. I do like that movie. I think it was called Troy. Especially I like uh, Hector in it. Pretty good. I always uh, always uh, want Hector to win, but win, but I I know that I know that he won't. It's uh, quite sad. Now let's get another army up and running. Some uh, cavalry from the near or artillery from the near east. Not gonna bother with engineers yet. I'm I'm doing I'm getting them later. How is this going? How much will we? How much infamy will we get? Oh, how much infamy did I get? I guess ten. A bit more than that. I never noticed it. I clicked through so fast. Search high, search high. 
He's gonna want more reforms. That's all I want. Shouldn't be that much to ask for. I just want to cultural rights. Give me cultural rights. Well, I'm almost done with uh, the justification of war. So now the next thing is just to establish protectorate. I could almost ask Egypt to do it on their own, but someday, some days, you just have to do it yourself and take Mogadishu with force. I still don't have uh, the spending set to uh, to full. I wonder how much uh, industrial subsidies is going to cost me. I wonder how you go around promoting capitalists, by the way. Do you hand people a checkbook and a bunch of cash? And hope for the best. Because, uh, you know, I would not mind being handed that. I'd accept it happily. And let's take Kismayo. Almost sounds like I was trying to say something else. There we go. And next Galeria. And Turkish. And they immediately switch to Somaliland. Cool. And I like that flag. It looks pretty cool. A bit intricate. I like intricate flags. That's why I like the... The Spanish flag with that sort of seal on it is it would more is more interesting than the flag with just the the bars. The same way that I like the Italian flag with the seal of Savoy, whatever it is. It looks a bit cooler. 